What's up guys, this is the SAR 9X 9mm pistol. Full transparency before we get started, this was sent for me to try. I did not have to pay for it, but they didn't tell me what to say or to give it a positive review. And I'm gonna film every single shot that I take with this thing. So if it malfunctions, you'll definitely know. In fact, later in the video, we're gonna try to make it malfunction. So stick around for that. We do so many videos on this channel with big guns and crazy weird experiments that I thought it would be nice to just get out a nine millimeter pistol for a change, since this is probably what most of you guys are actually interested in. The SAR-9 is a Turkish made polymer framed nine millimeter pistol and their claim to fame with this thing is that it might be the most rigorously tested pistol ever developed because this thing endured over 150,000 rounds of live fire at the factory. That's a lot, so we're gonna shoot it, see how it feels, and then, since this isn't really just a gun review channel, we might put it through a little torture test to see how reliable it actually is, and to make the video more fun. All right, very first shots, let's see how it feels. These are 17 round mags. I think I only put 15 in this one. I don't shoot full magazines very often because it gets kind of repetitive and boring to watch, but we'll dump a few through this one. Oh yeah. That is sweet. So the first thing I noticed when I took this out of the box is the grip on this thing. It is quite possibly the most comfortable grip I've ever felt on a handgun in my life. And I'm not even kidding. It points so naturally and maybe it's just the perfect size for my hands. I'm not really sure. I did not change the grip panels or nothing like that. And right out of the box, it is absolute money. <laughs> It also came with a plus two mag, so let's see if the extendo works. Whew. This thing is awesome. I'm probably gonna regret this, but I'll go ahead and embarrass myself and try the Shoot Steel Texas Star. I think I got 15 rounds in here, so. <laughs> Not my worst attempt ever. If I could only have one steel target, it would probably be the Texas Star because no matter how many times you shoot it, it never gets old and it's always fun and challenging. Well, since the SAR-9 is apparently very reliable and endured 150,000 rounds of live fire, I thought we would put this brand new pistol through a little torture test and see how well it does when we introduce it to some elements. Let's do it. First test, water. Good thing I have my splatter shields on. Next up, we have some dirt. I'm gonna put the gun in there, shake it up a little bit. Just kind of cover it in dirt like it would be if you dropped the gun. Got some leaves on there. Chambered the round. Trigger didn't reset. There we go. I just pulled it back out. Wow. The only problem we had is that the trigger did not reset one time, but I saw that the action had cycled and it did chamber the next round. So I just pulled the trigger out and it ran pretty much perfect. You can see how quickly that dirt turned into mud because everything is so wet out here. And I was concerned about the ported slide allowing debris to get into the action and it might, but what I think it also does is allows the gun to get rid of it easier as well. So pros and cons, I really don't think it's that big of a problem. We'll go ahead and rinse this thing off, try to get some of that mud out of there. I was gonna do two separate tests for dirt and mud, but the dirt kind of turned into mud because it's been raining out here for a week. So 
I guess we killed two birds with one stone. Seems to be good. Let's see if the water helped. Clean it up a little bit. <laughs> I just hit the steel gong from like a hundred yards away. Again. Perfect. Man, I hope you guys can see the fireballs coming out of this thing. For a nine millimeter pistol, this is a flamethrower. Well, so far the gun is doing very well. With water, dirt, and mud, it performed pretty much perfectly, and there's only one thing I can think of that would be a tougher test. Sand, and we have a ton of it. Throw some acorns in there while we're at it, and it's been raining out here for about a week, so not only is this sand, it's wet sand. All right, now we have probably the toughest test for firearms to pass, sand. And this is wet sand, so I will be shocked if the gun does not malfunction on this because this sh works its way into every nook and cranny you can imagine. And even guns like AKs will malfunction when you introduce sand. So I'm just gonna drop it on there again like you would in real life and you can see how covered that gun is so flick the safety off it is all over that slide oh it splattered my face and the slide will not go all the way home don't know if you guys can see that the camera hopefully will autofocus on it but you can see the guide rod sticking out just a little bit and the slide is not fully seated. Yeah, there's probably sand in the action, which again, is exactly what I expected. Give her a little rinse. Open it up. It sounds so gritty. Sand is nasty stuff, man. We've only got one round in this magazine, but it chambered and fired and locked the slide back. So now what I'm going to do is take this thing apart and put the separate parts in the Tupperware container and rinse them off properly. See if we can get this thing back to normal. It's pretty much there, so I think this will definitely work. Let me grab the magazine. Throw it in there too. This is how you clean your firearm right here. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and put it back together. I have sand in my mouth, so I'm sure there's still some in the gun. Grab our magazine. Let's see if it works. Woo! <laughs> like it never happened. All right guys, it's starting to rain pretty hard, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up. I hope you all enjoyed the SAR 9X 9mm pistol. I wanna thank SAR USA for sending the gun out. Of course, I really appreciate that. And I thought a torture test would be the best way to review this thing because number one, we're not really a gun review channel and there's gonna be a thousand other people doing reviews on these things. So torture tests are always fun and it's been a while since we've done one. So hope you all enjoyed it. I was impressed with this thing. Water, dirt, mud, the stuff you're most likely to encounter, it did very well. Of course, sand is a totally different story and unless you're in a gunfight on the beach or in the desert somewhere, it's probably unlikely that your gun will be covered in sand like that. But it is the toughest test for these guns to pass. So of course, I had to do it in the video. But overall, I give this thing a thumbs up. I think it did very well. Aside from the torture test, just shooting this thing is an absolute pleasure. It's probably the most comfortable handgun grip I've ever held. And I'm not just saying that. If you ever get the chance to hold one or shoot one, definitely do it because it might feel the same for you and you'll probably end up buying it. So hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, let me know down in the comments below. As always, hit the like button for me, guys. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching.
and I'll see you next time.